So as you've seen in today's video, that section of street heading in that direction towards central Sonora I didn't believe was too heavily con uh, congested. It's pretty fr uh, free flowing traffic in that direction. Oh, okay, so it's um, 3 p.m. in the afternoon now. There's the new Icon Bali Mall here in Sonora. So it's going to be built in the apartment complex behind the um, board here. This is what it's going to look like. Some of the prices, looks as though they have a few customers inside, judging by. So you can see the road isn't actually too bad in this direction. It's pretty clean, pretty clear. Nice leather bags there. Some leather sandals as well. The menu there. Some of the drinks. Hey, brother. <laughs> We're on coconut trishy. 30k for all plates. Good afternoon from Bali, Indonesia. So today I'm here in Sonora area of Bali. I'm stood out the side the brand new Icon Bali Mall here in Sonora. And what I'm going to feature in today's video for you is a street walking tour along the street of Jalandana Tambalingam. So in yesterday's video, I featured a walking tour along Jalandana Tambalingan outside the um, Icon Bali Mall all the way through to the street of Jalandana Dana Toba in the Sindhu area of Sonor just to give us an idea of whether the Icon Bali opening has had um, any temporary impact on the street of Jalan, uh, Dana Tambalingan with the traffic situation. So in that video we established that the traffic has increased um, and expectedly so given that this is a new mall maybe that's going to calm down um, in a short while or not Ta only time will tell. In today's video what I'm going to do is I'm going to be starting at the Icon Bali Mall again and I'm going to be heading in the opposite direction heading towards central Sonora area um, all the way through to the street of Jalambu Miyayu and the Soya Japanese restaurant to see whether we have any impact in that direction regarding the street of Jalandana Tambalingan. As I'm walking along the street um, of Jalandana Tambalingan I shall take all the accommodation, restaurants, and shop options all available um, on the street of Jalandana Tambalingan also just to give you a general idea of what's around this area of the new Icon Bali Mall. So without any further ado let's go and get started and take a street stroll along the street of Jalandana Tambalingan. Oh, okay so it's um, 3 p.m. in the afternoon now there's the new Icon Bali Mall here in Sonor. So in yesterday's video we headed in this direction, our way along Jalandana Tambalingan to Jalandana Toba in the Sindhu area. Traffic's not too bad now at this time. Yesterday we started at 6pm, today's video we're going to be making our way in this direction which would be heading towards central Sonor. I'm going to cut across to this side of the street first of all. So we'll just see how the traffic is coming from this direction. So just here on the um, on the wall here we have the um, apartments for sale. So these are what's going to be built in the apartment complex behind the um, board here. This is what it's going to look like. It's a living space. Look very elegant and very luxurious these apartments. Exclusive luxury residences. There's a full view of what it's going to be looking like. So here's the traffic again now coming out. We're going to cut across the street because we have the Tamakami Hotel. So this is the um, Tamakami Hotel. It's just in the back there. I featured this hotel in a video. It's a name there on the wall. So just from the Tamakami, you also have a restaurant um, in the Tamakami. Just next door we have Kaluma Sonor. This is a brand new restaurant this, recently opened. I'll just pull out and show you the name up above. A nice courtyard seating area there and also some seating inside. 
like a little coffee shop on the corner here also very nice just next door to Kaluma we have PT de Ringu money exchange there's the exchange rates on the board if we can see them up that, that high there's the um, PT de Ringu in the uh, back there also just down in the back here next to PT de Ringu we have a um, collection of um, like a little tourist market in the back here nice collection of um, tourist goods shops on both sides all the way on both sides there just from PT de Ringu money exchange on a tourist goods shop we're going to cut across the street now we have the Nest Boutique Spa here Nest Boutique Spa is just in the back there very nice spa this just next door to the Nest is the Raspati Beach Hotel just take you and show you the Raspati Beach Hotel so there's the name there's the main reception desk area I've featured this hotel in a video just in the back there just across the street there we have Emma Spa Massage we have PGS Tattoo Studio uh, number two we have Farmers um, Coffee I'm uh, not sure whether that's closed permanently. Let's continue walking. Have Novarica um, shop there. I think that's jewellery. Just across uh, next door to Novarica, we have Shintia Spa. I'm going to cut across and show you here. The name Shintia Spa. We we'll have Swin Bed and Breakfast here. So it's down that side street there. A local tourist goods shop here. Some bike rental as well from this gentleman here. I have a telephone number on the bike there if you need to rent a motorbike here in Sonor. In Sonor. Okay. Thank, thank you, brother. You, thank you. And more um, shops across the street there again. Biasaya, that one's called. I'll just cut, cut across the street actually here and show you. We have Biasa. It's like a ladies boutique style clothing shop. Just next door to the Biasa, we have the Gazebo Hotel. Gazebo. It's just in the back there. Just across from the Gazebo, we have the um, Pavilions Barley. Just in between the um, two um, white um, pillars there. It's the pavilions barley we have um, enjoy the taste of crystal chill which is a bar we'll take you across the street so this is the pavilions it's just down that turn walkway there okay Sugi palace also that's another accommodation have ocean bar here The offer here at Ocean Bar. It's the inside of Ocean Bar. Nice sitting area outside here. Have a rung barley bagus here next door. This is rung barley bagus. There's a look at gazebo from across this side of the street. It's 
continue walking along the street here we have some tourist goods shops here of sarongs, ladies clothing, men's clothing, tropical shirts, all things inside there. We have Ashitiba, nature and modern from Bali. We have maids bar and restaurant here. It's not quite open yet, maids bar and restaurant, but it's just in the back there. Just across from Maid's Bar and Restaurant, we have Kima Farmy Apotic. This is the biggest pharmacy now in Sonor, directly across the street there. Just continuing on from Kima Farmy Apotic, we have Bali Spa Royal here. Some of the prices, looks as though they have a few customers inside, judging by the shoes on the floor. Some of the prices on the board there. Another little ladies and men's clothing shop here. We have the um, Tanjung Sari um, Hotel here. There's one entrance down there. There's one also down this way. There's a Kima Farm or Apotic on that side of the street. We also have a um, collection of um, tourist goods shops. We have Vin's Leather Boutique. So you can see the road isn't actually too bad in this direction. It's pretty clean, pretty clear. We'll go across to Vin's. So this is a leather goods shop. Nice leather bags there. Some leather sandals as well. Some snake skin as well, it looks like. Lots of ladies' bags and sandals and things there. We have um, Impenia here. This is um, for sandals here. Good quality sandals, these. 199 for the kiddies there, 399 the ladies. Mid-year sale, lots of pairs inside there. Just here we have the restaurant and bar, Mango Taru. So there's the Mango Taru inside. It's not gonna to be too many people because we're um, just past 3 p.m. We're just going to cut across the street now. We have some tourists here walking on the street. This is the um, Basaki Hotel here. So the traffic is um, just steady flow in this from this direction. It's not like yesterday's. There's the Basaki Beach Hotel. in the back there featured this hotel in the video just across the street there we have 88 chicken and we'll run coconut tree I'll take you across the street so this is a place called 88 chicken here directly ahead of us just in the back there has a seating area here by the roadside also an inside seating area it's a name 88 chicken some of the prices on the menu there. Some of the drinks. And then just next door we have Warung Coconut Tree. Hello, how are you brother? <laughs> Warung Coconut Tree. There's Warung Coconut Tree, the inside there. See there's some customers inside there. It's usually busy of an evening this place some of what's available on the menu here at Wurrung Coconut Tree. I am a cheeky monkey. This is like a um, early learning centre for kids. It's just in 
the back there, not sure it's open today with it being Sunday. Some sellers carrying big cuddly bears there. We have Chick Boot Beauty Salon and um, sp uh, Studio here. Just show you the name. There's the social media details. Let's continue walking now. We're almost at the end of a walk. Just next door we have the Tosco. And this is toast and coffee. It's like a little coffee shop here. Has an inside and an outside seating area. Tarang Silver. Silver jewellery shop here. Another collection of tourist good shops available here. Some watches and things available for sale here. Some hats, some bags, all your typical tourist goods things available in there. We're just um, calling at the next place which is May May Bar and Restaurant just on the corner here. Then we'll turn back and head across the street. So there's the name May May. They're just setting up now for the evening. It's the inside of May May, so it has an outside seating area here in the courtyard, also an inside seating area in the back. And then just across the street, we have a place called um, something Amaraj, Shawarma Amaraj. So Shawarma Amaraj is just in the corner there. I'm not sure whether that's open or closed down or whether it's open later. It's just in the corner there. A Bottle Avenue. Beer, wine and spirits just in the back there. Have a mini mart convenience store here. Have a place called City B B B B B B B. <laughs> I'll just show you. I'm not going to say the name but just so you can see it on the camera. There's a name. So you can see the street um, isn't too busy. It's pretty free flowing tr um, traffic in this direction. This uh, across the street here where the motorbike is just coming out from, that's the street of Jalan Bumiayu. Just here we have EJJI Coffee Corner. Nice coffee shop this one. And then this is where I'm going to complete the video. This is Soya um, Japanese restaurant, just on the corner here. I'll just show you some of what's on the um, Soya Japanese restaurant menu. It has a special on the sushi, 30k for all plates. Chef recommended menu. And then the main entrance to Soya Japanese restaurant is just up there. However, we'll just take you in here and just give you a little bit of a look inside the restaurant. And then just from the Soya next door, we have a Starbucks coffee shop, many more shops and restaurants all along this section of street. We'll continue in future videos from this point here. Okay, so that concludes today's video. My stroll along the street of Jalandan at Tambalingan here in Sonor from Icon Bali, Sonor's new mall, um, all the way through to Soya Japanese restaurant um, slash the street of Jalambu Miyayu. Um, so as you've seen in today's video, that section of street heading in that direction towards central Sonora I didn't believe was too heavily con uh, congested. It's pretty fr uh, free flowing traffic in that direction. If you go back and watch yesterday's video where I started at Icon Bali and headed um, down towards Jalandanatoba in the Sindhu area, that um, section of street was um, very congested with traffic and there does seem to be an impact um, in that area. But let me inform you, that area where I featured in yesterday's video coming um, from the Sin, uh, heading down towards the Sindo area, that is where the bypass, the bypass Nugan Ray, um, and I think all the people are coming off the bypass Nugan Ray and using that point to come in and access the Icon Bali Mall. 
the times were all so different. Yesterday I was at 6 p.m. Today I started the video at 3 p.m. So maybe that's uh, paying a little bit of difference as well. Um, all, all in all, I think only time is going to tell how this is going to play out and how it's all going to work out um, regarding the impact of the new Icon Barley Mall here in Sonor. So I shall keep you posted on future updates and see whether it gets any better, any worse. I shall try and keep you informed as much as I can. But as you've seen in today's video as well, walking in that direction, you've got some nice accommodation options, restaurant with rungs and shops. You're heading towards central Sonora in that direction. There's many more shops and restaurants continuing on from the point where I ended the video. So on that note, hope you've enjoyed this, um, this video. Hope some of you find this video useful, particularly if you're staying in this area of Sonora. And I shall say bye for now.